If they have phones on Mars, I'll call ya! Bye! I talk about Degrassi a lot on this channel, but you know what? I like other shows too. So I had this bright idea that maybe I should talk about one of my other favorite shows, American Dad. American Dad is central to our marriage and to our household. We've been watching it religiously since approximately 2012. It is our primary show in our house. We watch it every night before bed. Now sometimes we'll do like Family Guy or something else, but we always come back to American Dad as our number one. And it's so funny because we, we started out as Family Guy fans and we were like, yeah, American Dad does not look like our style or whatever. Like, we didn't even consider trying to watch it. And then one day we did and the rest is history. So today I'm going to outline my top 10 favorite American Dad episodes. Number one, Escape from Pearl Bailey. And I'm gonna read the description. Steve tries, tries to avenge Debbie, but raises the ire of the entire school. I love Debbie. I miss her. I love like high school cliques, you know, like the Christian weightlifters or the baggy pants mafia. And for each episode, I'm just gonna recount some of my favorite quotes. Stop right there, dudes. You're not getting past. Smells like a Depeche Mode concert. You shall not pass. Number two, Bar Mitzvah Hustle. When a rival steals Steve's girlfriend, Steve tries to get revenge by launching a plot to steal his Bar Mitzvah presents. I mean, the episode just kicks off with a bang. We have that Steve playing with the farting machine. Oh, that is nice. Aton, I love Aton. Catch you later, nerds. And there's just, we appreciate the subtle, subtle humor of American Dad. So, you know, when Roger is uh, referencing this road in San Francisco and just goes, yep, I've been there. Like, we just say stuff like that all the time. Like, it is the most quoted show in our household. We quote it every day in some form or fashion. Not on to your uh-huh. Adult contemporary. Angry hen DJ. Okay, episode, favorite episode number three is Jenny from the block. After Snot gets shot down by Haley, Steve and Roger devise a plan to cheer him up. Okay, Jenny from the block is so special. All right, so do you remember when Google and YouTube merged? This is a funny little story. When YouTube and Google merged, then um, my name was showing on my YouTube account. Not this one, but just like a different one I had at the time. And I was like, well, I don't want that. So I got on Google and changed my name on Google, like on my Gmail, which is the email I use for everything. So instead of it being my name, Katie of the Night, because my last name is of the Night, right? I changed it to the first thing I could think of, and that was Jenny from DeBlock. <laughs> and since then, even in the most professional capacities, my email says Jenny from DeBlock as the sender and people have asked me about it multiple times <laughs> and it's not really that I have I mean I tr I've tried to fix it but I haven't tried very hard because honestly I think it's really really funny so on gmail I appear as Jenny from the block this episode stands out to us because we used to watch American Dad on Netflix and Netflix slowly started removing um, season by season American Dad and Family Guy. And season six was the first to go. So we were like, let's just binge season six as much as possible so that, you know, we won't miss it as bad when it's gone. So Jenny from the blog, we would watch that one like every day until season six got pulled. We have since deleted Netflix because that. So here are some of our favorite quotes from this episode. I thought you might say that. Just another hardcore BF weekend. I got sand all up in my Jenny dress. Not to mention my gopher hole. Snot love Jenny. And Jenny loves Snot. Number four. Can I be frank with you? Francine poses as a male CIA agent to get into Stan's men's club 
why am I reading like this? <laughs> While Steve and his friends become members of a 12 person boy band. Okay. Both plots are amazing. They are iconic. They are vital to any American Dad fan. The first scene where Boy Bomb is performing at the pizza place, they're singing Cool It Now, which is a real song, which I just discovered is by New Edition. New Edition, Cool It Now, check it out, because it's awesome. Some more of my favorite moments, Francine singing Shot, Shot, Shots. <laughs> that part really calmed me down. Need a shot, B12. This ain't my first butt blast. Hi, my name's Tyler, I'm 17, and I'm lost and cold, and my parents don't understand me. Can you help me? Dave, your life's been lived like a billion times! Number five, why can't we be friends? When Stan decides that Snot isn't cool enough to be Steve's best friend, he tries to separate them by staging a shooting at an ice cream parlor. I just love Snot. I love Steve and Snot. I love their friendship. Like, Snot is my favorite out of that group. And the B plot of this episode is where Jeff is cleaning for Roger for money and then Roger just mugs him at the end of every day <laughs> outside of Jeff's room. Here are some of my favorite quotes from this episode. I am Sven. If they have phones on Mars, I'll call ya! Bye! Is that the come back and kick me whistle? I am pissed off because you're doing that and now I want a sloppy joe and I know you don't really have one. Chicken pot pie? Chicken pot pie! You! You know me! Favorite episode number six, Steven Snot's Test Tubular Adventure. Thwarted in their efforts to secure dates for the upcoming high school prom, Steven Snot turned to the CIA's cloning machine to churn out two willing ladies. <laughs> However, when this device produces two uber-fast-growing newborn babies, the boys must break out their fathering skills to ready them in time for prom night. This one is super fun. I feel like it's still a new episode. I remember the first time I watched it. This one just really stands out to me. It's one that I look forward to every time it comes on in the rotation. And now I will perform <laughs> some quotes for you. Their breasts don't have to be prize winners, but we should know that they're there. Twins! Control Z! Control Z! Rainbow Unicorn Gardens Daycare. A literate girl is a lonely girl. Ooh, ooh. I'm a waterman! Number seven, Max Jets. Roger announces that Max Jets, a character who showers the Smith family with money, is making a return. A gold-digging waitress romances Max and threatens the family's inheritance. I don't really have much to say about this one. I'm just going to jump right into the quotes here. Your mom doesn't make a cent, but at least she lets me have sex with her. Which is more than I can say for you two. Beep bop boop. I'm done using dirty Kleenex as toilet paper. And vice versa. My love is pure. Purely for money. Money from people who I don't love. Old men disgust me. I'd never love one. Unless they give me money! Let me see your booty go! Oh, I thought you were talking about the you people. They live underground. Number eight, Buck Wild. Steve is eager to prove that he's no longer a little boy, so he sets off to prove his manhood by joining Stan Bullock and the rest of the CIA on their annual hunting trip. And the B-plot of this episode is Roger in his Mercury Sable, um, and when the numbers turn over to zero, he misses it, so he is he goes off on a road trip to see the zeros. I just think this one's really fun. It's really fun to watch. I, this is another one that I'm always like, yes! And I'll usually watch this one like twice before I move on to the next. Um, I don't have a lot of quotes from this one, but I have a couple for you. You are wasting your Charizard! I'm so interested in things today. Number nine, y'all, rubberneckers. Stan learns how to slyly check out other women. Roger and Klaus try to cover up a stain on a new couch. Rubbernecking with the best. Rubbernecking with the best. Jackson from the CIA is one of my favorite characters and I'm really glad we get to spend some time with Jackson in this episode. I also really like Dick. Insurance is not a game! I get looked at all the time. 
like tons and tons and tons of times. How much is normal to get looked at? You can double that. That's how much I get looked at. And number 10, the shrink. Stan is horrified when he sees a couple die in a car crash and he goes to see a shrink. Meanwhile, Roger and Klaus study for a wine tasting. Okay, the reason I love this episode is because I love miniatures. I love dioramas. Like, I just love, I love that. So it's really fun to watch an episode of my favorite show on that topic. I also love the music. Like, they play this, like, very happy music that reminds me of The Sims every time we, like, transition back to the miniature world. I don't have very many quotes from this one to highlight, but it's really just the episode as a whole and the theme behind it that I really like. But I have a couple for you. Why is everything terrible? There's no room in this town for anything dangerously unbalanced! Okay, and that is my my top 10 favorite Amdad episodes with reenactments. Um, but I did want to give an honorable mention to Lincoln Lover. The episode Lincoln Lover is the first episode of Amdad I ever watched. I saw it at a friend's house and I thought, you know, this show might actually be okay. I think, I think I need to watch more of this. So Lincoln Lover is the, the, the episode that got me hooked. There we go. Please tell me I have some AM Dad fans out there or this video is a total waste of your time. Let me know. Let me know, okay? Um, and tell me your favorite episode or tell me that you're going to go try AM Dad because it's the best. So other shows that we like to watch in this vein are King of the Hill, Family Guy, and The Simpsons. I feel like there's another. I've tried Bob's Burgers. I've tried Rick and Morty. It's not really my thing, but I am an am dad girl till the day I die. <laughs> All right. Hope somebody out there got a kick out of this and I will see you next time. Bye.